What's up, good peoples? I woke up this morning and I was thinking about a post I posted on Google Plus. And, um, and me and this dude, Zabi D, we got into a, a little conversation about religion. All right, and I wanted to talk about it. So let me read you my post. This makes me happy. This is what I said. This makes me happy. There are millions of people who see past the politics and religion that has been forced upon us. Praise Jah. It's only one world, world one tribe. Let us be united, y'all. Fuck the douchebags who continue to maintain these systems of division. All right. Um, I had posted a, a link to the, the Zeitgeist movement. All right, if you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link for you. All right. So this dude is IBD. This is what he replied. He uh, he quotes what I said. He said, "There are millions of people who see past religion that has been forced upon us." He highlighted forced, and then he highlighted praise job, and he goes on to say. <clears throat> so you are against religion, but you still want to praise someone slash something named Jah. LOL, logic of atheists. I knew this was going to be a doozy on the first reply. So I say, I'm no atheist, brother. I was going to leave it at that. Then I replied, I just feel religion is far from the creator, whom I like to call Jah. All right, then he says, why is religion far from creator? Explain. If you believe in a creator, then you have a religion. What's your religion? I say, religion is a man-made institution. In the words of Ziggy Marley, love is my religion. Then he says, with all respect, I disagree. You can't believe in a creator if you don't have a religion. Do you have any evidence it's man-made? Yes, we don't have any evidence that is made by a God, but the same goes for atheists that claim it's man-made. He still thinks I'm an atheist. There is no evidence, but if you had studied holy books, then you would know that there is a hidden science that no human knew in ancient in the ancient time. How do you explain that? <laughs> crazy. So I say, it seems obvious to me that man made religion. Man wrote the Bible, man built the churches, and man maintains this illusion on a daily basis. I guess we will have to agree to disagree. And I'm not going to try to explain something that's hidden. I'll leave that to you. He says, can you please read my comment one more time? I was not finished. So he, uh, he edited and added a paragraph. And this is what it says. There is one thing that scientists hate to admit. Everything around you from atoms in your body to cosmo is all fine-tuned. Scientists can't explain that. It is as if something or someone has precisely designed the whole universe for us to exist. Please educate yourself on this matter. It's like he's still arguing with me like I'm an atheist. Crazy. So I say to him, that agrees with everything I said. And then I say, creation begs a creator. And then he says, yes. And who says that that creator isn't God? I say, God, Allah, Jah, all just names. Like Jesus said in the Bible, I am that I am. Or should I say the creator is who she or he is, no matter what human beings call him or her. He goes, with every God, there is a religion. I say, I don't try to fit the creator into man-made standards or doctrines. The creator is much more awesome than that. I say, I reply again, there's only one earth. Humanity has three main different religions that divide us. Shut up, crow. 
has three main religions that divide us. No matter what any of these institutions say, we all come from the same energy. It matters not what we call that energy. Zabidi says, no, religion is not dividing anyone. It is the people itself. Religion are not humans are violent. A book can't kill you by itself. Religion is a wonderful thing that gives you goals, guidelines, and a way of living. It's the humans fuck it up. I say to him, all humans are not violent. Only a violent human would say such a thing. I don't even know why you brought up violence in this thread. And if a person needs religion to give them goals, then that person is fucked up. <clears throat> he says, look to your wonderful people in USA. Most are atheists. Has no idea what he's talking about. And always fighting and shooting up each other. He listens to the propaganda. People are violent. A peaceful person will always be peaceful, religious or not. And that's the end of that thread. I didn't reply back to him because he proved my point with that last post. A violent person will be violent no matter the religion. A peaceful person will be peaceful no matter the religion. And that, my friends, was an argument with a religious fool. I know people who think like me, like-minded people like me, go see the foolishness of all his comments. But if you think that any of that shit he said made sense, then, I don't know, go to whatever hell your religion tells you you're going to go. <laughs> As always, true love, true knowledge, true peace, no division, no corrupt systems.